So in this talk, I'm going to talk about the product rule for the Jacobian and some applications of that. So I'm I'm going to use vector notation just because I don't want to write lots of coordinates. Okay. So a and b are both vector valued functions of a vector variable x. X is n dimensional and a and b are m dimensional. Okay. So a and b are both functions. So each coordinate of these is a function of all n variables. Okay. Right. Now a dot b will be what kind of thing? Will be a real. It will be a real valued function of n variables. Okay. So you can take its gradient vector. Right? Yeah? Yeah. And the gradient vector, you can think of it just as the Jacobian, right? It's sort of a trivial type of Jacobian. Okay? Hmm? And that is given like this. So, well, this is actually going to give you a... So, okay. So, here's how we think of it. So, we think of... If you think of A and B as column vectors, okay, so we think of them as column vectors, so they are uh, uh, written in a column, then A transpose is just the same A vector but written as a row, okay? Mm -hmm. You know what row vector and column vector are? Yes. Okay, so B transpose is the same as the vector B written as a row, okay? So we take, so this is sort of like the product rule, usual product rule, right? It's the it's the derivative of a times b plus a times the derivative of b. That's what we want to do. Hmm? So what we do is we write j a is just the derivative of a times b. But now the times b we we multiply by the row vector b on the left. Okay. Now how does that work out dimensionally? So what are the dimensions of b as a row vector? Well, what's what's b as a vector? It's m dimensional, right? So this is one row m columns, right? Is one cross m, right? What's j a? What's the dimensions of j a as a matrix? M by n. M by n. So when you multiply, you get one by n. One by n. Okay, good. What about this? So a transposes. It's the same. One by m, mm -hmm. and j b is one is m by n. So the product is one by n. So you get that this is actually, this is a row vector, is a, so you get a 1 by n row vector, okay? Which if you just think of it as a vector, that's, uh, that's just a n dimensional vector, okay? This is as a row vector. Okay, the j a b j a dot b is you're getting the gradient vector as a row vector. Okay, so dimensionally it seems to match up. Now, is it actually one cross n? If you think of the gradient vector of a dot b, a dot b is a scalar function of an n-dimensional variable, so the gradient should be a n-dimensional thing, right? So that matches up. Okay, so this looks reasonable. Okay, now let's use this to get an expression for the directional derivative of a dot b in the direction of a vector v, where v is a unit vector. So what should that be? Well, what do you know about the directional derivative in terms of the gradient vector? That's the dot product of the green vector with the unit vector. Okay, so it's nabla a dot b dot v. Okay. Okay, good. Now we already have an expression for the gradient of a dot b. That's this. And this gives you the gradient as a row vector. Right? Mm -hmm. Now when you take dot product of, of, of two vectors, and one is written as a row vector, the other one is written as a column vector, that's just like vector multiplication. Right? Dot product of two vectors is just multiplying the first one as a row vector by the second one as a column vector. Right? Yeah. So this, how will you rewrite this? Well, it's just this vector times v. So what's it? This vector times v. So what do you get? B transpose j a hmm? times v 
times c. So you can already distribute, yeah. Plus a transpose j b times b. Okay, good. So, so that's that's a formula. Now, what what's happening here? What are the entries here? So, this equality sign got messed up, right? Let's make it good nice. Okay. So, what is the dimensions here? Let's just check. So, this is what b transpose is what one by m. This is one by m. J a is what m by n. So, m by n. And uh, V is a column vector. And it's a vector. Where is it living? Well, I didn't quite say that, but it should be living in n dimensions because you're taking the derivative in the direction of V in four. Then the directions here are coming from the inputs to the function, right? Mm -hmm. This is n by 1. Okay, so what happens when you multiply these? What kind of matrix do you get? Scalar. 1 cross 1, right? And similarly for this, so you're just adding two numbers. Now, is the output supposed to be a number? Well, it's a directional derivative of a scalar valued function of a vector variable. So that should be a number, right? Yes. Okay. Now I want to take a special case, which is what happens when one of these is constant, right? So that's like pulling out constant. So what happens if A is constant and what happens if B is a constant function? Let's just show a is a constant function because the other one will be similar. So that means it's a constant vector. Then what does this become? Well, actually, let's do the first one first. So let's do the nabla one first. Okay, let's do nabla. So what is a nabla a dot b going to be? Hmm? Uh, just be never, uh, so this thing, what what will happen when you when you use the fact that a is a constant vector? What's the Jacobian of a constant? What's the derivative of a constant? Zero. Zero. The Jacobian of a constant vector will be zero because each coordinate of that is is the gradient vector will be zero because it's constant. Mm -hmm. So what do you get? A transpose. Hmm? Times J B. Yeah. So, by the way, some people follow a different convention for what's a transpose and what's not, whether you write as row vector or column vector or so. So, you should specify what, what we are doing. So, here I'm thinking of the output as a row vector and I think of A as a column vector. Okay? That happens. Treat vectors, I guess I should be clear over here, here, up here. Treat vectors A, B as column vectors. And the V is also treated as a column vector. But the intermediate gradient vector that I'm storing, I'm storing it as a row vector just to make it easier here. Okay. You could clean that up more if you want, but that's fine for our purpose. Okay. And so what is BV of A dot B? If A is constant. Hmm? We can pull a out. Well, we cannot quite do that because this is a dot. So, so we have to we just can look. We pull the constant entry of a out. Well, you could do that, but we've already done our work here. So, I mean, if you have to derive this from scratch, that's how you do it. But we already done our work here. So, it's this one will not be there. So, it will just be a transpose jb v. Right? Mm -hmm. If you actually wanted to prove this formula, you would do it so the way you're saying. Okay? Okay, good.